Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to show you guys our wedding room. This is how I have decorated ours so far. I don't really think I'm going to be adding much more to it. So we'll just kind of start up here. I did wood burn all the way along it. And so it's on both sides. One side has our wedding date and the other has our last name. And then I added various sacred symbols for us and just put it along. Obviously drew it out in pencil first. <laughs> and then what I've done is I've taken our wedding colors and incorporated them into the broom decoration. So I have these crocheted flowers, which I will post the original video for in the description. But I had, if you watched the videos before in the series, <laughs> I had bought some velvety yarn in attempts to have that be our cord, then we ended up finding an actual cord that worked better. So I had this yarn laying around and I was like, this will work. So I did it in the two colors. So we have purple and white. And then I took the green and wrapped it around. And then just kind of made it really thick at the base here. But there are 13 flowers on here. And these are just the strings at the end, but I kind of liked how it looked, so I left those ones. And there are some more that are way fancier than this. Personally, I just wanted ours to be a lot more functional. And so this is the broom that we are going to be jumping over when we get back to our hotel room. And we will likely be using, at the very least, every year for our vow renewal. Not every witch feels the need to do that every year. I like the idea of it, of renewing your dedication to each other and reevaluating what's going on and stuff in your relationship. I'm not exactly sure how we'll be incorporating it, but every year I'm sure we will bring this out and use it somehow. And so yeah, it's kind of simple and easy. I didn't make the broom. I bought it off of Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it below as well. It's a very well-made broom, though. And honestly, I've been tempted to use this broom for all witchy things, but I also kind of feel like keeping it separate just for all things, our relationship and, like, our marriage. Because I also don't plan to undo <laughs> all of the decor on it. But yeah, it was really easy to make. This didn't take terribly long to do. It took a about two days. So the thing that took the most time was the wood burning because obviously that takes a long time. <laughs> it took about a full day and if you are new to wood burning I would definitely say do a test project beforehand because it's still it can be rough to try and get the lines to turn out the way you want them to. And then for the crocheting that took about a day-ish like early part of a day and that I actually had help with, so my mom helped me do that, which was nice. Assembling it only took maybe 10 minutes at most. And the way I've attached it is I took the green and I made a chain. And on the handle, ours has this little hook that you can hang it up. And I just tied it onto there. And then these are all just tied onto this main piece. Some of them I went right through the chain and others like at the ends, I just tied these around and it's just tied on the back. One thing I do plan to do eventually is to put various things each year onto this broom, so different charms and stuff. So for example, I have the last of the clear quartz that I talked about from the hand fasting cords videos. So I have one last one and I've decided to use that as kind of to soak up the energies of the wedding. And I will be attaching that and then every year adding something to represent our marriage that year. So anyways, I hope this has been helpful and gave you some ideas for making your own witchy broom for your wedding. And of course you can buy them online. They are just a wee bit more expensive. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't cheap by any means. I think the broom was around $40. The yarn ended up being about $15. They're about $5 a piece. And if you don't have a wood burning tool, I think the last time I bought one it was around $20, so give or take on the cost of those. But anyways, that is it for our witchy broom. I hope this has been helpful, and until next time, do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post every single day. I do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts, and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and blessed be.